Knudsen. I'm the editing and video manager for the Extreme Trail Horse Association. I'm here with my dad, Scott Knudsen. Our question is coming from Derek Hicks of Amarillo, Texas. This question has been coming to our office a lot lately. Dad, the question is, what are the costs involved in becoming a successful extreme park? Hey, thanks, Derek. That's a great question, Haley. Um, so the costs involved in being a park, it just depends on where you want to go and what you want to do. And, and we won't by any means tell you how to set up your place. You know, that's your business. It's your business. It's your horse business. We just want to work with you and have that opportunity. And, and what we want to do is give us a call, shoot us an email, and, and we'll start visiting and getting a plan in place. We have some people that have an indoor facility and an outdoor track. Or we have, you know, third, second, third generation uh, people that just took over a property and they don't know what to do. So we're going to try and create some revenue for them. We're going to work together. We have some people that's been in the business a long time and they're just looking for something to kind of update or maybe some new way to uh, create some revenue. We'll work with you there too. We're not by any means going to tell you how to run the business. We're going to just share ideas, share ideas from other parks. We're a real transparent company and we really share ideas. And uh, we really look forward to you, but just the first thing is make that call. Let's talk through it and uh, let's get you going in the horse business. Thanks so much. And that's a great question, Derek. Thanks, Haley. Thank y'all. Be sure to subscribe below. Have a nice day.